What we see here is the effect of vibration on a specific substance, lycopodium powder, or spores of the club moss. We have strewn it uniformly on a diaphragm of stretched paper with a diameter of about 30 centimeters, which we now excite by vibration. In this experiment, the frequency, that is to say the number of vibrations per second, is the same. Now we shall take a closer look at these movements. Here is one of these forms. The material travels inwards from the edge along the bottom of the pile, rises up in the middle, and is then carried back to the periphery. Even if the intensity of the vibration changes, there is still a whole system of radial circulation. At certain frequencies, or with certain tones, an extraordinarily interesting phenomenon is seen. Watch. We see two regularly and continuously rotating areas at either end of a diameter, going round and round like weathercocks. This is the expression of a rotating wave motion. We can see they are rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. We now switch to a different frequency and produce the same phenomenon, but this time in a clockwise direction, because the frequency is different. If we go back to the previous frequency, we have the same phenomenon again in an anti-clockwise direction. Notice that this rotary movement does not affect the circulation or convection in the least.